Good evening, and first tonight, that warning that it could take 10 years for wildlife to recover after the massive fire that destroyed more than 100 acres of heathland in Devon. Well, fire firefighters were injured as they tackled the blaze at Woodbury Common near Exeter at the weekend. More than 20 fire engines were on the scene at the height of the operation. Crews are still at the scene tonight, along with our environment correspondent Duncan Slightholm. Duncan, this is something we're more used to seeing in late summer than early spring. Well, yes, it's unusual, isn't it, at this time of year. Heath fires aren't unusual. Inevitably, heaths like this one are dry sorts of places where the wind whips through and where there isn't much water. But in this instance, we've had a period of very dry weather running through the end of March into April with only a fraction of the rainfall we might have expected. And that, combined with this kind of environment, has created a place where fire can spread very quickly. From the air, you can see how much of this heath has been damaged. Fire claiming a sixth of this common. The tallest trees, now islands of green in a sea of black. Firefighters worked with wardens to keep it under control, but in 10 hours, flames spread across an area equivalent to 50 football pitches. Wardens cut fire breaks into the vegetation to try and stop the flames spreading, but the wind was so strong that the flames just raced across the common. More than 100 firefighters were called here yesterday, the wind threatening to push the flames across the road and towards houses and a golf course. Firefighters don't know what started it, but they do know the dry weather of recent weeks has certainly helped the flames to spread. It doesn't take very much, uh, you know, a discarded cigarette, a broken bottle with sunlight or even someone trying to have a barbecue or something. It doesn't take very long to catch, especially in this heat that we've had. Uh, our initial crews on their arrival were met with four metre high walls of flames and that was our first cruise here. So you can see how, how fast that fire can spread. A fire at this time of year can be devastating for wildlife. There are more than 3,000 species here, many very rare and endangered. Conservationists hope they'll recover. After a few inches, uh, you know, it's, it's still OK. And a lot of these plants will uh, have, there'll be seed in the seed bank. They'll also be able to re-sprout from underground stems. So I have, uh, you know, I'm very confident that in time this will recover, that it will take uh, quite, a few, quite a few years. But we will have lost some bird nests, nightjar nests and, and adders and things like that. Yeah, so, so I think um, so. This, this area would have been uh, quite dense gorse, which is perfect habitat for the Darfur warbler. And the Darfur warbler is one of our, our rare species. It's a heathland specialist. Um, they would have flown away, so they would have lost whatever nesting they were doing. But again, on another positive is that there's still a chance for them to relocate and uh, rear uh, several more broods this, this season. There was a big fire here seven years ago and the heath is just getting back to normal. This fire started easily and spread quickly. And the big worry is it could easily happen again. Well, Duncan, given that warning, of course, uh, a need for real vigilance in open areas uh, given the current conditions. Well, you need only look over my shoulder and in the distance you might just make out the firefighters are going for another hotspot and they'll continue their patrols in this area until they know there's no chance of the flames kicking up again. But you need only look at the habitat. I just went just over there a little earlier and collected this. And this is what the undergrowth here looks like. And it's the kind of thing you might start a fire with in winter in your hearth at home. And another thing I collected on a walk earlier was numbers and numbers of cigarette butts, about six in as many metres just walking along the paths here. So you can see why it's very easy for something like a fire to start with someone just discarding something like that. Duncan, thanks very much for updating us there.